brings punk rockers and house mothers together? Hmm. Well, according to Dale Hatch of Augusta Vacuum and Supply in Augusta, Maine, his vacuums do, or at least his unique display of antiques. I tried many different window displays, and it didn't seem to attract anybody's attention. And I started putting antique vacuums out, just because I had a bunch of them. And to be quite honest, it wasn't a brilliant stroke on my part. I needed some place to store them, and I figured instead of having them underfoot or stored in the cellar, I'd put them out. And by gosh, it worked. I had two completely different window displays, and the window that people always started looking in were the antique vacuums. So I acquired more. I changed the other window over, and now I've got them inside. I've got more vacuums than I can display. And everybody, from young and old, uh, regardless, it seems to be cross-generation. Everybody enjoys looking at them. He does repairs and sales, and also says, aside from his vacuum museum, he owes much of his business to customers who come in by recommendations of friends. I have very faithful and loyal customers, uh, and I guess some word-of-mouth advertising. Mm -hmm. One word of mouth customer is Angie of Gardner, Maine, who listens to her mother, who also patronizes Augusta Vacuum. Um, well, my mother gets her um, bags to her curbing. And she, she says, oh, she's so confident. She's always so friendly, Daddy. In Augusta, Maine, chances are Dale is the only one who can fix your old vacuum. But obviously my vacuum wasn't up to par, so... How, how long have you had this vacuum? Ten years. So it's uh, important for you to be able to get fixed? Definitely. Oh. Definitely. Dale's expert, Mitch, may be another reason business is good for him. Nice. So would you say business sucks? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, always. 